we um, we started music for relief uh, right after the tsunami hit South East Asia, and, and that kind of got us involved um, as a band and doing charity work. And after uh, Katrina hit, we definitely uh, because music for relief. The, the main goal of music really is to help out with natural disasters. We were interested right away to, to kind of see what we could do to help. And um, we partnered up with Habitat here for Humanity before and actually visited the bill uh, a, few, a few years back and just really felt that it was really um, a really positive and strong organization to get back in the community and, and most importantly giving people places to, to live. Um, it was basically an opportunity that was presented uh, from management. It, it was something like Park was doing a tour with them right now. And so we kind of researched what we were doing. We thought it was a great cause and a cool idea. So. Yeah, for me personally, I have uh, my father. Oh, really? Yeah, he's been here for about eight years. So it's also kind of personal. I know the guys, uh, I was on the trip, but they went to the Ninth Ward last time. And uh, from the stories that they were telling us uh, about, they saw it looked like it needed a lot of help. So, uh, you know. I don't know what the plans are, but uh, you know, definitely uh, jump at any opportunity. Yeah, definitely after coming down here today, it makes us want to do a lot more. We see how much it does really help, and we had a chance to, to meet somebody who actually experienced the hurricane and lost their home. And it feels good to, to get out here and, and help. I'm enthusiastic about uh, you know, you know, helping rebuild the city. You know? Great. Every uh, little thing that we can do. This is one of our Habitat homeowners who Yay. is living in another neighborhood, but um, just wanted to come out and give you guys an idea of how awesome our families are and kind of what their process is and where she's been. So the way I found out about it because my mom in Atlanta, she gave me a paper. The first time I put it all, you know, to the side. Some just was telling me to get the paper, put it out, and, you know, say it all. And that's what I did, and they go back and, like, come me. Nice. Wow. <laughs> That's results. Yeah, yeah, they go back quick, real fast. And here we are. And that was just in August. That was in August, so that's how fast they were here. Huh? On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the uh, most you know, improved progress, how would you rate, along with your friends and citizens of New Orleans, the progress since the, the catastrophic event to today? And what, if anything, do you feel can be done to expedite additional progress? Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I would give it about uh, maybe a 7 because they are putting in progress to kind of like improve our city, you know, more now because the population now is stronger. Like, it seems to me that the population now is bigger than before. You can just go on the freeway and see that the population is pretty big. You know, it's big now. So, but they are, you know, you see a lot of work getting done. You know, it's getting done fast. Cause I just went out to like around Gentilly Wood, and like I went out there, probably like right before Christmas, and it was like a ghost town. But now the houses are, you know, getting up right even around West End. You know where the um where you exit off the bridge, West End, the West End exit. The houses are coming back fast. You know? But once you see more people and more people coming back, yeah. And, the city getting back up, then you see, you know, other people putting in effort to, you know, get it back the way it was. I'm glad. Mm -hmm. And then with people, nice people coming helping us, like, it's amazing to be here. Thank you. I thank y'all for coming out. It was uh, something else. <laughs>